I'm Dave DeFusco. I'm the Chief Engineer here at Skyrise. Hi, my name is Warren Curry. I'm a VP here at Skyrise. We're here at our Hawthorne facility just south of LAX. And behind me here is the iconic Black Hawk, one of the most prolific, versatile aircraft ever built. Obviously used by the U.S. Army for decades, as well as international. And back here, even for aspects like aerial firefighting, it has proven itself decade after decade. We're going to show you today how we're putting our Sky OS in this aircraft to enhance mission effectiveness, but allow those pilots doing that to be safer while they do it. So what we're doing with the Blackhawk here is we're removing the OEM flight control system, we're removing a lot of the instrument panels, we'll take you through some of that in a minute here, and we're putting in our flight control system with electromechanical actuators, a four-axis control stick, and basically a simplified vehicle operation system, uh, which makes it much easier for pilots to fly in either manned applications, or we can actually take the pilots out and fly in unmanned applications as well. The system is modular, allow you to quickly reconfigure between those two different configurations. And from a pilot's perspective, realize the pilots flying this aircraft are flying in some of the most challenging environments you can find yourself in for critical missions. And the overall task loading of those pilots, it sometimes exceeds their ability, even the most competent pilot. What Dave articulated, and we'll show you here in a little bit, is gonna ease the burden on those pilots, again, allowing them to effectively execute their mission, whatever that may be, as well as bring them home safely. All right, so we just received this Black Hawk. We immediately got to work. We started what we call depopulation. Depopulation is removing all the components we no longer require. So that's things like the flight controls, the mechanical control rods, a lot of the instruments, some of the avionics. We started pulling those out immediately. That took about a week. And then after that, we started installing SkyOS. This aircraft has now been completely reconfigured with SkyOS, and it's ready to fly in only three months. And Dave and his team are going to be very humble, but I will tell you as someone that's flown aircraft for 30 years, to include over two decades in the U.S. military, taking a, a level of technology and capability like what Dave and his team are integrating in this Black Hawk and actually retrofitting the aircraft and the speed by which they're doing that has never been seen before in this industry. It's really remarkable. Welcome to my office for over 20 years. This is the interior of the iconic Blackhawk, at least this half is. This is the traditional side. Let me walk you through some of the complexities that a military pilot deals with. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the lack of visibility we have due to the size of the control panel. So essentially, I use this little bubble window at my feet to land a multi-million dollar aircraft most times at night while I'm wearing night vision goggles and I'm in a hostile environment. This is lack of visibility. If I come inside the aircraft, you're gonna see a whole complexity of dials and buttons. To be an aircraft commander in one of these aircraft, you do a blindfold cockpit check. Essentially, you go out on a Friday afternoon to the flight line, they blindfold you, and you have to be able to touch and feel every button and dial inside the cockpit. Well, that works fine for a Friday afternoon on a flight line, but I'll tell you if I'm a half mile away from objective area, I'm on night vision goggles, I'm in a hostile environment, there is no way my cognitive ability is such that I can actually reach up and grab and know where every switch and button is. And it gets worse. If you look behind me, there are hundreds of circuit breakers. So as a military pilot, what I will do is first, I'll cut the fingertips off of my fire retarded gloves, which means I lack some protection if there's a fire in the cockpit. But I do that so I can count the columns and rows to pick the circuit breaker that I memorize that I need to pull. And if I'm on night vision devices and I'm a high, half mile away from the objective area and I'm uncertain which circuit breaker, I had the crew chief come from the back. Now they leave their weapon system to help self-defend our aircraft and have to verify I have the correct circuit breakers. When you talk about lack of redundancy in, in current aircraft, it comes down to mechanical linkages. I'm reaching behind me for a control tube and I'm moving this mechanical control tube. If you look down in front of me, the cyclic's moving. This is how I control the aircraft. So if this mechanical linkage is damaged by ground fire, enemy fire, or maybe someone just bumps it and dents it, I no longer have my primary controls in which to keep this aircraft stable and keep us from an accident. The last thing I'll talk about since we're talking about it is the actual controls themselves. You'll see there's dozens of button and dials on all these. So this gives you an example, the complexity that's in front of me that I have to navigate while flying in the most challenging environments and the most critical missions. This is what SkyOS is gonna modernize to bring mission effectiveness and safety to pilots. All right, thanks Warren for taking us through the traditional controls. Why don't you all come over here and take a look at the SkyOS side. The key difference is, 
as Warren mentioned, the visibility, right? So here we just have two multifunction displays, a primary and a multifunction display with a lot of our secondary systems, mission systems, electrical power, et cetera. I have a much wider field of view here on this side uh, than we do on the traditional side. So it's one of the key enablers of replacing all of these instruments, all these circuit breakers into two easy to use multifunction displays. What do you not see here? There's no cyclic, there's no yaw pedals, there's no collective stick. That's all been replaced by this single four axis controller. Again, uh, to fly, all I need to do is move this lever to go up, move this lever to go down. It's a simple altitude control loop. Pitch forward, pitch aft, roll left, roll right, and then change my heading left and right. That's if I wanna fly in the loop, or I can use some of our auto flight functions, like what we call auto pickup, where I simply swipe my finger and I lift up into a stable six to eight foot hover or from that stable six to eight foot hover, I can auto set down by swiping my finger. The aircraft automatically comes down by SkyOS and control. The pilot doesn't have to touch anything. So this warning cautioning advisory panel here, we've replaced completely. That is now inherent in our system with what we call cast messages, the crew alerting system. So we get warnings, cautions, and advisories that are all managed by SkyOS. And there's a hierarchy to notify the pilot based on the criticality of the failure. We're also making the logistics a lot easier for pilots and maintainers to manage this aircraft. So what has enabled us to uh, reconfigure this aircraft in only three months? Well, the decade of work that Skyrise has put into developing control laws, vertically integrated hardware, that's what I'm most excited about. We have electromechanical flight control actuators. We have actuators with, which manage the engine controls, the control stick, flight control computers, electrical power control system, a digital backbone that manages it and communicates it all with these displays. That's all done under one roof here in El Segundo. You might ask what's unique about Skyrise and what's unique about SkyOS is there's other companies out there that do actuators, that do computers, that do control laws, that do airframes. We do all of that in one place and it allows us to control our own destiny, do our own software and our own hardware. It puts us in a unique spot to have an advantage here to quickly adapt aircraft like this that are very complicated in a matter of three months and get them ready to fly. And lastly, just to highlight on that, so that, that means that whether it's our soon-to-be private owners, whether it's CAL FIRE, whether it's the Army, or whether it's the other partners, we can very easily configure and quickly configure the platform to meet their needs. So thank you for visiting us at our SkyRise Hawthorne facility, and thank you for letting us walk you through what we're doing with SkyOS and integration of this Blackhawk. Next time you see us, we'll be ready to fly. Yeah, until then.